Hi, this is the Wrestling Doctor from Pro Wrestling Extra, and I'm sitting here with a phenom in the business. Let me tell you, this guy is unbelievable. Lince Dorado. Dorado, yes. So I said it right. He had one. You grow your arms. He has one Spanish class in, in, in junior high. <laughs> but look, let me tell you, I have watched a lot of guys coming along, and when I watch your matches, I'm getting out of the seat. I am excited with what you can do in the ring. I mean, I've followed you, I've watched you in Evolve. Mm -hmm. You know, I've watched you, uh, you came to Jacksonville. Yes, a couple mm -hmm. times. I've watched you in USWA, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna be watching you tonight at, at United Pro Entertainment. I'm excited. Uh, can we talk about how you got started in the business? Sure, um, I actually, you know, watched Lucha Libre when I was little. I wasn't ever exposed to American wrestling. Uh, until you were born in Puerto Rico? Is no, I was born here in America, but you know, coming from a Spanish culture, um, you know, I was only allowed to watch Spanish TV. Okay. Um, so we got a lot of like the Mexican Lucha Libre, the Puerto Rican Lucha Libre. Um, and then all of a sudden, flipped the channel one day and there's American wrestling. I said, like, what is this? You know, it's kind of like Lucha Libre, except for more um, pageantry and things like that. So it kind of drew me to it. Um, so as soon as I turned 17, I was living up in New Jersey at that time. Um, I was able to enroll into a wrestling school. wasn't allowed to wrestle professionally, but was allowed to train. Uh, I started training at uh, the Chikara Pro Wrestling Factory uh, with head trainer Mike Quackenbush, Claudio Castagnoli, who's now in WWE, and Antonio Cesaro, and uh, Chris Hero, who is also signed to the WWE as Cassius Ono. Um, once I turned 18, I was you know off to uh, Mexico, got trained by El Pantera, um, El Skyda, who was also another Lucha Libre star, and um, you know, trying to get back to the Lucha Libre uh, culture that I grew up watching. And, and those are some great names that you just mentioned there, you know. Uh, I always say this and I always advise the fans to go to YouTube and look up this guy. Definitely take the time. Some of the names he mentioned, Look up those guys. You see them in WWE now. You, you see them all over. You can see them in uh, ROH. Mm -hmm. You can see them in Evolve. You can see these guys getting the business, getting to the top of the business, trying to. At least. You know, and that's that's your goal, right? Yes, my goal. That my goal is to get as far as possible. You know, I set these little goals throughout the years, going to Japan, Mexico. And once I accomplish them, now it's time to think bigger. So I'm just trying to find a home now, and hopefully my home is one of those top companies. I hope so too, because you're great. You're absolutely great. Thank I you. love watching your matches. Now, we talked a little bit about your finishing move that you're using now, and that is? The Shooting Star Press. And, and where where did? Uh, I think uh, growing up, I, I one guy did it, uh, Lucian Jeff Thunder and Liger. Liger. Yes. And uh, he did it one time, and it was like, wow, that was kind of cool. And then Marvelous Mark Merrow, or Wild, Wild Man Mark Merrow, did it on uh, WWF at the time. I said, hey, that was the move that uh, you know, Liger did. Um, so I kind of wanted something that was kind of some elegant but dangerous at the same time that kind of gave it that, it was he going to get over kind of thing. Um, you know, and I grew up just watching what, what set me apart from everybody else. And not a lot of people can actually do it. So that's what's going to give me the edge in my matches. <clears throat> you know, I, I do a vlog where I give advice too on the site. And one of the things I've talked to the younger guys is, to watch wrestling and try to not watch it as a fan, to watch it to learn from. It. Yes. And, and that's what you're talking about. You watch Mark Merrow, you, you watch Thunder Liger, and you saw what they did, and then you went and you learned to perfect it, and you yes. made it your own. Absolutely. There's nothing wrong with learning and coming back and making it your own. You don't want to be a copycat. Absolutely not. That's why you make it your own. You add your own tweak to it, you know? Absolutely. And that's what you've done, and it's, it's a fantastic finisher. I'm hoping I'll get to see it tonight, a you know, matter of fact. Yeah, that's it. Okay, you got some big matches coming up. Any big shows you're going to be uh, going to? Well, we got the uh, WrestleCon. That's going to be WrestleMania yes. weekend. I'll be involved in that um, with Evolve and Dragon Gate. Um, I have some things coming up in the summer that I can't really talk about, but, uh, you know, doing Be watching for them. Fans. Absolutely. I just did that, uh, the last pay-per-view with TNA, um, probably about three or four weeks ago. Um, that'll be on April, where people can buy it, you know, watch me. Um, you know, that's pretty much it. I kind of go day by day, week by week, just to 
I do have a website, it's www.perfect10.com, you can visit and keep up with my events that I'm going to be at. That's how I keep up with my stuff. Yeah, too it's www.perfect10, is that the letter 10? Yep. 1010.com. www.perfect10.com. Check it out. This guy is amazing, and, and I know all of our fans already know how good this guy is. But it doesn't hurt to watch what he's doing because you will learn from him just like he learned from the vets. This guy is the vet teaching people today. Thank you for sitting Thank with me. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. This is Wrestling Doctor from Pro Wrestling Extra.